stuff like that. But I, I really feel like it's a personal secret achievement for a white person to be able to go back to their clan, their tribe, I mean clan with no pun intended, but to go back to their people and say, I see a nigga in front of a black person and it was cool. I'm I'm one of them. Like that's a rite of passage. <laughs> Are you serious? Um, if you haven't hit the PayPal, make sure you go to the PayPal. Also, all my local artists, you have to go to the Facebook Messenger, not the Instagram, uh, to ask about advertising on the channel and shit like that. Your music has to be up to par, and it has to, and you have to be someone that's worth promoting and shit like that. Um, let's get straight into this shit. Um, if you're at work and one of your coworkers, better yet, if your manager has, you know, you've been working there, you need a job, whatever like that. Oh uh, man, you know, trying to do the right thing and shit like that. Finally got me a job, you know what I'm saying? Folk gonna be proud that I'm doing the right thing on the right track and shit like that. And the manager's fucking with you, whatever like that, for like a whole week. He just showing love, whatever. Like you're good at the job. Like most niggas, we're good at jobs, whatever like that. We're, we're not stupid people. We can catch on to anything that we have to do. It's just inside of us that we can catch on to shit very fast learners and we're, we can work. Um, so nothing wrong with the way you work and stuff like that. Of course, on the, on the first week, whatever like that, you're going to come there on time, do everything you're supposed to do and shit like that. that but the man is fucking with, like, he's showing real love, whatever like that, gave you a ride home and everything. All right. Now, one day, whatever like that, you know, because he, he, he's showing you that he listen to rap music and he, he's knowledgeable about, knowledgeable about the rap world and all this shit like that. But now, one day, whatever like that, he come to work and be like, Oh, what's up, my nigga? Like, how would you handle that? What do you do? What's up, my nigga? You know what I'm saying? Because it's like he didn't play you up. He didn't baited you up for you to be, you know what I'm saying, cool to him. He gave you the job and shit like that. At this point, he says, what's up, my nigga? What do you do? I'm going to tell you. First thing is, you don't have to say a motherfucking thing because you're at work for one. Let's get into me for a second. If a white person says nigga around me, I'm not gonna, I don't fuck with them personally. Personally, I do not fuck with them. I, I don't really, because it's forced. It's forced, it's forced. I won't fuck with a nigga, a Filipino, a Mexican, anybody who says nigga, and I can tell that that's not the way they talk. I can tell that they're trying to come into my world. Uh, so to say, they're trying to, make me feel comfortable. They're, they're trying to be me. And it's like, don't be me. Be you, whatever like that, because I already know how to be me. What I want to know in life, what I want to know is how other people think. I, I watch um, I watch uh, documentaries about serial killers, uh, death row inmates, um, rapists, uh, pedophiles. I watch that Dave Hansen shit, whatever, Chris Hansen. Um, I watch everything that, that doesn't have to do with me, whatever like that. I know how to do me. But I try to learn about other people, like folks who play Digimon. If, and I'm saying in real life. I, of course, I can't talk to the rapists and serial killers and, and pedophiles in real life. But if there's someone who does, like, Digimon and shit like that, a mechanic, someone who works on airplanes and shit like that, I would like to talk to them about what they know. I'm going to be interviewing them. I don't need them to, well, what up, nigga? Yeah, I, and try to sag their pants and shit like that. What, one thing my mom does... um, to make me want to stop sagging and shit, is she'll sag her pants and it just, it, I hate that shit so fucking bad. I hate it. It's because, you know, it's not her. You know what I'm saying? But she's trying to make me stop sagging. So I understand it. But on a, on a wider scale, this is what I feel like white people um, are doing when they say niggas. Like, that's not what you want to say. Like, you can be a really cool person, whatever like that. But I, I really feel like it's a personal secret achievement for a white person to be able to go back to their clan, their tribe, I mean clan with no pun intended, but to go back to their people and say, I see a nigga in front of a black person and that was cool. I'm, I'm one of them, like that's a rite of passage. Like in order to be an official friend of black people, you have to be able to say nigga and that's not what the fuck it is. You do not have to say nigga, like say what the fuck you say, say fucking douchebag, 
asshole, you fucking whatever the fuck white folks say and shit like that. And that shit is cool because I would rather learn. I said cool. That was lame as fuck. I don't like the way I said cool. I might edit that shit out. But that shit is like live. Do y'all whatever like that. So let's get back to the, the, the example. If the manager says that, what I would do is I wouldn't say a fucking thing. Because me having a job, that's a fucking, oh man, achievement. I goddamn, I was, what's up, big home? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Just try to keep going, keep going, and stay at that job as long as I fucking can. But see, when, when, once they do that, though, the, the fucked up part about that is, like, the job will be sour after that because now you have to, because, like, he gonna want you to play into that shit. Now he gonna do more and more. Because if you you played me up this whole time to say nigga to me and shit like that, I mean, you won't. Like, now you want to come to work with a bandana. Now you want to come sagging and shit like that. And all, like, other shit. And then, the thing about that is, the the issue with posers, no matter what the fuck they're posing to be, it doesn't matter. Whether it be a bitch who's claiming to be a black China, black China comes into the picture all yada, 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 whatever. Seems all good. And then she does what black China does. And that's, that's, the, that's the mindset of a lot of bitches y'all had to understand. I, I got a meme why I say, um, fuck a first impression, uh, because people don't show you who they are. They show you who you, they want to be. They show you who they want you to see. And you have to know, big word, use your discernment to be able to peep that shit. If they're awkward, if they're not, if there's something wrong, there's something wrong. They're trying to hide something. And usually it's something that, it's bad. Like, what the fuck do you have to hide? And you find out that I was born a man. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit. Like, I don't like lies. I don't like lies. Like, let's just keep it real from the start so we don't waste each other's time. I do not want to, like, I'm not with that shit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, but what people do is they try to fear you out. And this is what you do in the street. Like, if you're about to rob somebody, you fill them out. Like, you know, you act like, like, this is what I usually do. I, I put on makeup and shit like that. Like, the makeup I put on, like, I shouldn't say that. I'm going to take that part out, too. Um, But you should be who you are, whatever like that. Don't. There's no reason for a white person to say nigga. Like, no reason. It doesn't make you more cool or nothing like that. Like, it makes you look like a fucking poser. Because that's not like you can you can if if Eminem, uh, Machine Gun Kelly, Justin Bieber, Justin Timberlake, any of these fucking white dudes that we kind of like, says nigga, it's like we look at them different. Some folk gonna say, oh, he can say that, whatever, like that. But folk gonna be like, man, what the fuck, dog? Come on, dog, just be you. Like you'll win bigger, just being you. Like just stay on your side of the fence, and I'll come over there and visit. You can visit over here, but you don't have to live over here. You don't have to live over here to be accepted. As long as, as long as you can come over here and knock on the door and I open the door for you, it's all good. A lot of times in life, you'll be friends forever with a motherfucker until you move in. That's how a lot of relationships break the fuck up. It's all good while y'all, you know what I'm saying, visiting each other's house, whatever like that. But once y'all start living with each other, you start recognizing shit. And also, you don't get a break from the person. And without having a break, it's like, hold on, whoa, whoa. I'm getting too much of you right now. I'm getting way too much of you. Let's, let's, whoa, get the fuck away from me. I know I get like that. So, with that type of situation, what I would know at that point is, I'm not going to be at this job for long because it's not going to stop with him just saying nigga because now he's shown his character and his character is someone who can't be trusted because they're not who they say they are. They have ulterior motives and ulterior motive is, I want to be something I'm not. So there's no way you can actually get to know that person because the person that they are isn't real. They've lost them a long time ago. And you should take this and apply this to anyone, anyone who you see not being themselves, that's trying to be someone else, not trying to be better in life, not trying or aspiring to do better in life, but attempting to be something that they're not and something worse. You understand? A white person who doesn't say nigga and a white person who does say nigga, like, that's not a step up. You're not a better white person if you can say nigga. You're not a better white person because you um, 
the, the black guys that you're around because you give them money and shit like that, they allow you to say nigga. You're not a better white person because uh, the black guys around you uh, allow you to buy them weed and shit like that. And you have to understand when you're being used. Like, but because you want to be accepted, you can't see that. You can't see that. And, or maybe you can, but you don't care. It's kind of like the, uh, the big girl who will pay a dude to stay with her. She, of course, she's not paying him to stay. Like, oh, you stay here six hours a day. You know what I'm saying? He goes $60. No, it's more like you know that if you stop letting him drive the car, live in your house, and pay for everything, and buying him dope and shit like that, you know he'll leave. Because that's the only thing keeping him there. But why the fuck would you waste your time? That time that you're spending on fabricating a life and, you know what I'm saying, living in this uh, false reality... You could be getting yourself together, losing weight, eating healthier. You know what I'm saying? But for some reason, we always want the quick fix. I'm just going to say nigga so black people can accept me. Instead of just, you know what I'm saying? Let me do something. Or, or let, like, let me actually help the race of black people by doing what? Joining the police force and being a good police officer. Being an understanding police officer. Turning in bad cops. You know what I'm saying? There's a lot of ways... That you can help black people if you actually want to help them and not just hang with them. Because that's called slumming. You're not trying to... If you're not trying to bring someone up, why the fuck are you around them? Everybody that I fuck with, I don't chastise them. I yell at them. I fuss at them about, man, come the fuck on. Come the fuck on. Come the fuck on. Like, you said you want to do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. Come on. Come on. What are you doing? Let's work. Let's work. Let's work. If you can't help the person that you're around, you're hurting them, period. Because you're wasting their, their time when you're on the phone with them. I don't believe in that whole, I just need somebody to talk to shit. No. You need somebody to pick you the fuck up and let's get somewhere. Let's do something. Not talk. Let's do something. But that's a whole nother story. So that, that's what that is. Just, just be cognizant of people around you and shit like that. And white people, you don't have to say nigga to be cool. A lot of the ways to be cool and shit like that. Big Face Podcast, Ayo Conseco, all you serious, y'all make sure y'all fuck that PayPal. I'll see y'all in a minute. Love.